Welcome to the 5-Minute Leadership Podcast, where we talk to leaders about leadership, and our goal is to help you solve your leadership shortages. As a young kid, I remember going to the circus and being fascinated with the lion trainer. And that guy would get in a ring with nothing but a whip and a chair face to face with a vicious lion. I later read that one of the reasons the lion didn't attack was that the chair had four legs and those four legs would confuse the lion. He couldn't focus on those four legs and didn't really know what to do. He would become passive and, um, and, and, and non-aggressive. I think the same thing happens with leaders who have too many values, too broad of a mission, and a vision that includes everything that can possibly be done in the name of God. Those kinds of leaders become docile and they accomplish little. Paul wrote to Timothy, who was a young leader, telling him to focus on only two things. Second Timothy 1, verse 13, he said to Timothy, follow the pattern of sound words that you have heard from me in the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. Verse 14, he said, by the Holy Spirit who dwells within us, guard the good deposit entrusted to you. So Paul told him basically this, follow the pattern, guard the deposit. Don't focus on a million things, simply these two things. What does it mean to follow the pattern of sound words? Imagine for a minute a shirt maker in a factory. A shirt maker is given a pattern to follow. The pattern ensures quality, the pattern ensures the right size. But what if someone decides to ditch the pattern and just go with the flow, be creative, make it up as they go? Well, the shirts produced wouldn't be the right size, uh, they wouldn't have the expected quality. They might not be the right color. They might have more buttonholes than buttons. They might have sleeves different lengths. Paul's pattern was more important than a shirt pattern. Paul's pattern involves sound words. He used that same phrase in 1 Timothy 1, Titus 1, Titus 2, and it was translated not sound words, but sound doctrine. In 2 Timothy 4, the same phrase, but it's translated sound teaching. So when Paul says sound words, follow the pattern of sound words, he's talking about not just words, but doctrine and teaching. To follow Paul's pattern of sound words, it meant that Timothy was not supposed to make up new doctrines and make up new teachings. Rather, he was to faithfully communicate the sound words, sound doctrine, sound teaching he heard from Paul. At a recent gathering of Every Nation Campus missionaries, the national leader who called the gathering together and led the conference, when it was all over, he said to me, hey, can you give me any input and see anything that we could improve? I appreciated the question. I think it's something all young leaders should ask. After telling him all the great things I saw, I did say this, I have never seen so many references to visions, revelations, dreams, and prophetic words, and so little reference to God's written word. I then explained to him that the pattern that you see from Every Nation Global Leaders is primarily a pattern of the written word, secondarily of dreams and visions and revelations and prophetic words. And I exhorted him to follow the pattern, not to ignore the prophetic or the revelations or dreams, but to put the written word first. That was the pattern. Young shirt makers must pay attention to the pattern. If not, they produce shirts that don't fit. Young leaders must follow the pattern of sound words, sound teaching, sound doctrine. If not, we will produce churches that don't make disciples and church members who are not disciples. In ministry, creativity is way overrated. Relevance never saved the lost. Relevance never delivered someone from an addiction. Relevance never restored a marriage. Stick with the pattern of sound doctrine, sound teaching, sound words, and watch the gospel change lives. If you want to solve your leadership shortage, look for leaders who will faithfully follow the pattern, not leaders who ignore the pattern and make it up as they go.